Hey guys, I'm Aaron, and this is SketchUp for iPad Square One, where we take a look at the fundamentals of using SketchUp for iPad. Today, we're going to talk about the display panel. Uh, the display panel is actually a pretty simple one, but very powerful. It has tools in there that allow you to unhide or control how your model is displayed. Maybe that's where the name came from. When you go in and edit things like components. So let's take a look at it right now. All right, so I got a couple of things on the screen here. Um, they're components. I have a component box that's copied a few times and this little short cylinder copied a couple times. What we're going to be looking at is the display menu. And that's right over here. You can see it's just it's a little pair of glasses is the icon. If I bring it up, very simple compared to some of the other panels we've seen. Uh, I have three options up here at the top. Unhide all selected or last. And then some options here, some, some uh, toggle switches for hide rest of model when editing component and hide similar components when editing a component. So let's, uh, I want to look at both of these. Let's start by hiding something. So I'm gonna come in here with select and just pick this. And I'm gonna go to here and I'm gonna click hide. And then actually I grab one of these cubes and hide it too. Hiding is a great way to temporarily get something out of your scene. If you if it's long term or want something that's like permanently taken away, I don't ever want to see it again kind of thing, or, or well, then you would delete it. But <laughs> if you're going to regularly remove geometry or multiple items, that's where tags come into play. Put it, something on a tag and toggle the tag on and off. But as I'm modeling, if something is in the way, uh, hiding is a great way to temporarily just get this out of the way and then do my modeling and then come and hide it. And that's where unhide happens. So right here, I can say unhide last and it will bring back whatever I hid last. You can see I had a couple things hidden, including Sal. Hey Sal, how's it going? Um, I also have the ability to unhide selected. This seems unintuitive because if I come in here and I hide this, how do I select it and unhide it? And that's where some where I have to get into display or, or I'm sorry, styles a little bit because I need to come into my model settings and say show my hidden objects. And now with hidden objects visible, I can select this item and I can say unhide selected. At that point, if you have it in there, you can also come in and use a menu, but it's there also. And then of course, all will unhide everything. Now something to be conscious of, uh, you can do things like this. So I can come in, I can double click into, let's actually use Sal. I come into Sal right here and I could say, I want to select his shirt right here and I want to hide that one piece. So you can see Sal is partially see-through. Sal's not hidden though. A piece of a component is currently hidden. This can be, this. so if I hit unhide last, it's going to unhide that even though it's in there. It's just something to note that hiding can happen inside of context too. So I can hide something that's a piece down. This is kind of overarching. This is gonna make it real easy to bring that back undo my last hide, bring it back. That's These tools are awesome for that. The other thing in here is hide rest of model and hide similar components. So if I come in right now and I double click into this cylinder, everything else goes gray and I'm isolated to making changes inside this component. Now, if I turn off hide rest of model, if I turn on hide rest of model, everything else goes away. So just the thing I'm inside of goes away. If I click out, it all comes back. This is a great way to edit. If you use a lot of components where I'm seeing these pieces all over, this is a mixed bag, depending on what you're doing. So if I come in here and push pull and I'm making the cylinder taller, I might wanna see throughout my model where all these pieces are and where they're getting, you know, changing in shape. But if I have a view where maybe the piece I want to edit is blocked by another piece or something like that, I might want to turn this on, which is hide similar components, which says get rid of copies of the component I'm working on until I finish, and then of course when I, you know, when I exit, bring them back at that point. But that's how these these work. This isn't saying you know always hide anything in particular. This is specific to when you go in to edit a component. And I'll I'll let you in on a little secret. Hide rest of model works for editing groups too. So if I come in here and I make another square, and we'll just push pull that up real quick, and I grab all of that and I say make this into not a component, but a group. 
if hide rest of models turned on and I double click into this, it does hide there too. So um, obviously hide similar components doesn't work for groups because they're not connected to other groups. Groups are individual. But if you have a group highlight and you double click into it, hide rest of model in component edit will work for that group just as it does for the component. That went quick. But like I said, it's a simple panel compared to some of the others we've seen. So some of them, I mean, have, you know, groups and subgroups and stuff. So that one, simple, easy to the point, uh, a handful of items in there, but very, very useful items, especially as your models get more complex on SketchUp for iPad and you have more stuff on there, hiding, unhiding, and isolating geometry in groups as you edit it is extremely important. So it's a great menu. If you like that video, click like down below. And if you haven't already, please do subscribe. We create several videos each and every week around here and you'll be notified of all of them if you subscribe. Most importantly, please leave us a comment down below. Do you use the hide menu? Have you been looking for that? Some people don't know what's over there. We like making these videos a lot, but we like them even more when they're showing something you want to see. Thank you.